Hi developers, I'm Hossein Delay. In this video, we'll learn how to use the social framework in Xamarin iOS to share text and images to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and other social networks. The application we want to build today looks like this one here. I have the image that I want to share, and they have the three buttons for sharing anywhere to any application that supports sharing in my iPhone device. So here I can share to Twitter, Facebook, and I would have Instagram and other social networks. We can also share directly to Twitter or Facebook. So here if I click Twitter, then I can here share my image and my text directly to Twitter by hitting post. And the same thing we can make it by sharing to Facebook. So let's learn how to develop this application using Xamarin Studio. For that, I'll fire up here Xamarin Studio, start by creating a new solution, iOS app, single view app, then hit next and give your application a name. Then within the storyboard, I choose to uh, choose the overview as an iPhone 6 application. Then start by creating the user interface. So the first element I want to add is the image. And this is going to be the image that I want to share to social networks. Let's resize the image. And let's add a real image. For that, I do have here prepared an image. I just drop it to my project. And now I can copy it directly to my project. So here is my image. Now I can set this UI element to the image that I have copied by going to the properties window and here choose your image. Here you see I have that image that I already dropped it. Now it's shown here. Now let's add the buttons for triggering the share event. So let's look for a button from the toolbox drop it here and call this first button share anywhere because this button will share to any um, application installed in my device that supports shareable content as text and images so share anywhere Double click the button in order to create the event handler for it. So now Xamarin Studio um, generates this event handler and here we'll put the code that shares the text and the image. So let's define the content that we want to share. The first one is our text. So here I have prepared a text to share. Let's say I want to share this text and then we add the image that we want to share. And the image here is the same image that is in my user interface. It doesn't have a name so we should give it a name in order to be able to access it from our view controller. Let's call it my image. And from here we can call my image dot image to get the actual image. Then we need to use the activity view controller by creating a new instance of the UI activity view controller. Here the constructor that we want to use is this one that takes two parameters which the first one is the activity items which contains the text and the image that I want to share. 
and those should be of type NS object. But here our text and image are of type string and image. But we can convert them to an NS object by just calling from object method. So I call it to our uh, text. That way you see that here now our text is of type NS object. We do the same thing for the image. We call from object and pass our image as a parameter. Now that we have the text and the image, we put them inside an array of NS object. For that, I'll declare a new variable called items where I put my text and image. my text then my image. After that we can use this items variable in my UI activity view controller then pass the application activities and here it could be a null. Now that we have created the activity and passed the text and the image that we want to share now we need to present the activity using the present view controller. Great, now let's run this application in iPhone 6 or iPhone 7 emulator. But oops, here I do have an error because the present view controller does uh, need some other parameters for the animated, which um, indicate if my pop-up for sharing content should be animated or not. So let's hit true and let's pass null for the completion uh, for the completion uh, action uh, that means after the user or after that activity is shown to the user when it hides what should happen here we just don't need anything to happen so we pass null let's run now the application on iPhone 7 we do have our image we click share anywhere and here it gives me all the applications that support sharing text and images Twitter, Facebook, copy print, save image and others. So I can choose Facebook for example and from here I get that image and the text to be shared to Facebook. Great, now what if I want to share directly to Facebook or to Twitter exactly? So I go to the storyboard and add the two buttons for sharing to Facebook and sharing to uh, Twitter directly. So let's make it bigger. Let's call this button share to uh, Facebook. Double click to generate the event handler. And here we start implementing the share to Facebook method. So for sharing to Facebook, I will actually need the same text and image. For that, I'll declare my text, which is the same text as I have here. Of course, you can specify whatever text you want to share. Paste it here and also my image by calling my image dot image. Then we'll need the SL Compose view controller. So uh, here actually because the Facebook application might not be installed on the device and in this case the user cannot share to Facebook so we need to verify if the, uh, if the Facebook application does exist and the device so we need to go to if sl compose view controller and the compose view controller is the one that will make all the magic happen so it's inside the social uh, namespace the sl view controller does have a method called it is available 
that can verify if a certain service is available and here we are looking for the SL service type here you can see I can verify for Facebook Twitter and others so let's verify for Facebook If the user does have the Facebook application install it, then we'll go and start sharing. And that's by calling the Facebook and past it SL view controller. Or the SL compose uh, view controller. And then calling the from service and here we'll call again our SL service type here we want to use Facebook we'll use this object to add our text so here you see that I have all the methods so I can uh, insert the uh, text Oops. set initial text actually and put my text that I want to share we can also add the image by calling the add image method and passing the image parameter after that we just need to uh, call the present view controller and pass the a Facebook object of course we don't uh, forget the animated prop, uh, parameters and the completion handler passing null great so this is for sharing to Facebook now what's if I want to share to Twitter for that I go right here create a second a button for sharing to uh, Twitter this time double click to that button to generate the event handler and now we put the code for sharing to Twitter inside this uh, method the code also uh, actually seems like the uh, Facebook sharing code so I use this same code as sharing for Facebook but just here I'll change to a Twitter service instead of Facebook great now let's run the application so click share to Facebook and here it is now the pop-up shows directly the content uh, which is the text and the image that I want to share to Facebook directly so I can I hit a post to share to Facebook and also I can share to Twitter directly so if I click a post and go to my uh, Twitter profile refresh and here you see the content that I have shared now it's available publicly in uh, Twitter uh, here and as I'm using the emulator to share to Facebook and to Twitter I have logged to the uh, Facebook here by going to the uh, home inside the settings so I go to the settings and from the settings here you will find that you have a uh, Twitter and here I am logged into the Twitter application in order to be able to share to Twitter and I done the same for the uh, Facebook so here of course the simulator by default comes with no account configured with your Facebook and Twitter applications so that was all and thank you for watching